Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're in the shave den and it's time for a midweek shave. I'm going to be trying a couple of new products and uh, a couple of old favorites today in uh, this midweek shave. So I hope you're all doing good. Thank you for tuning in and your subscriptions are deeply appreciated. All right, well today I'm going to be using a familiar razor from Carbon Shaving Company. This was in the list of uh, my, what was it, 11... 11 uh, razors that uh, my favorites and I have been using this but off camera you realize I probably do two shaves on camera a week probably two or three shaves off camera but uh, someone had requested it too uh, ironically uh, just before I've done my uh, 11 11 favorite razors so this is the carbon de razor oh well, there goes the dog I'm going to use a feather blade in it today. What is it? It's about 4.30. Got the uh, wristwatch check. That means it's almost mail time. So my dog is going to be going nuts in a few minutes when the mailman arrives. <laughs> so bear with me. All right. I'm going to put a feather blade in there. I've got a little bit of growth. I uh, need a shave. And I figure let's do this one on camera. So there is the feather blade. We're going to line it up in the cap without cutting myself. It's a little bit of an overhang, so I'm able to hang on to that. I'm going to lock that little base plate in. And there we go. There's your alignment. Perfecto. All right. From Global Shave Club. They are branching out, uh, well, actually, there's a lot of products you can find on their site, but uh, their latest, I don't know if it's the latest and greatest, but their latest artisan soap is Chocoholic Artisan Shave Soap. And this, I'm going to take the lid off. Already, I can smell it. This smells like strong chocolate. In fact, on their website, it says, do not eat. I made the mistake of saying it to my wife. Yeah, it's got chocolate flavor, chocolate scent, not chocolate flavoring. So we're going to try some uh, chocolate, chocoholic shave soap today for the first time. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to bring in the Samoog uh, Bore Brush. People have been asking, hey, do you still use your Samoogs? And yes, I do. So I've got that soaking in the Crystal Skull. And the aftershave from uh, Razor Rock Puros. Haven't tried this one yet. This is got the tobacco leaf scent. So uh, cigar leaf, yeah. Let's see, scent of premium cigar leaf. In fact, uh, from shipping, it's been sealed here, so it won't leak. Pause one second. All right, so this is from Razor Rock. It's made in Italy, right? Made in Italy. Now, I checked their website. They're currently out of this. So uh, I've got this as a gift for one of my friends to try out. So I'll be trying this out for the first time. But uh, hopefully it'll become available. It does have a really nice cigar leaf scent. Very mild. Not too strong. Very mild. So looking forward to trying that out today. And I do believe we're ready to start. How have you been, man? How was Memorial Day for you? Did you have a good weekend? All right, I'll talk about mine when we get the shave going. So, let's start. Oh, and I'm wearing a... Man, I can't wait for this to come back. The Big Shave Southwest. When was this one? April 27th, 2019. We need another Big Shave meetup. Whether it's on the West Coast, the East Coast, we need a chance to get out again. All right. I'm going to just, I probably should have put this into a, into a shave bowl, but we'll see if we can't, it, it, it is leaking all over. We'll see if we can't just whip up some right here in the container. And it is, but I'm spilling a lot of it. Man. Very much 
very strong scent of chocolate. Seems nice and slick. I don't think I've tried in that carbon razor a feather blade before, so I hope I did not make a mistake with the blade razor combo. Yeah, you can tell I've got some growth here. Right. I like the carbon razor. It's got the pinch point and it's very grippy on that, uh, the knurling. So here we go. It is, it, it is extremely smooth. I hope you had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. I got to see A Quiet Place Part 2 with uh, my family. It was a good movie. We had some bad news, though. That's why I'm a little late in doing this video. I probably would have done a video on Monday, but uh, my wife's aunt passed away in her sleep on uh, Monday morning. So that kind of hit the family as a shock. Yeah, I hate that when, when bad news comes. So my thoughts go out to you, uh, Grisbring family. My thoughts and prayers. She had taken a fall and was in bed uh, contemplating surgery because, uh, I don't know, pinched a nerve, something, but I don't quite know what happened, but it just passed away in her sleep. And I lost my mom last year, so I know how devastating that can be. All right, let's uh, try to stay on positive thoughts here. Don't mean to bum you out. Well, I think I chose the, the perfect razor and blade combo to use with this soap. You know, feather blade, if you get it in the correct razor for your skin type, everybody has a different skin type and a different beard type. If you get that, that correct match, man, it's just great. I've got soap almost splattered in my eye there. All right. Not necessary, but we'll do a pass number two. Let's see if... Oh, no, oh, oh, perfect. Perfect. I went to a, a 50th birthday party over the weekend. That's the first time I've been out, I'm telling you, in 15 months. I stayed out till 1230. I mean, if you can believe it, I'm usually crashed by 10 o'clock at night. And uh, we were out, we were dancing. I got to wear a white sports coat. Here's what it looked like. I was going to shave. I did shave that day with my, uh, what is it? The special edition... Gold Sensor XL, but I did not uh, record it. I was afraid I was going to get just blood everywhere. Here's what this looked like. All right, so this is what the uh, outfit I'm wearing to the party looks like. Black and white. We are set. So uh, 
Glad that shave yesterday uh, held up. So, see you soon. Blood shaving cream. Yeah, I, was, I was pondering shaving in that white suit, but uh, I did not. But it was real nice to be out again. It's like the world is making a slow comeback. All right. Water's dripping off my fingers onto the uh, floor here. And your drip, drip, drip. I'm craving M&M's now, man. <laughs> Smelling this. M&M's. I don't know if you guys saw Quiet Place. It was uh, part two. It was, it was pretty good. Dang, it was good. I pulled a few wheelies. I've been feeling nostalgic, too. Uh... When I turned 16, I got a 65 Mustang Fastback that uh, the engine, my folks gave it to me, and the engine wasn't working, so I had to put a new engine in it. And at that point, when you get your car and you're a teenager, man, that was the end of my bike days. But the bike that I had ridden around uh, freshman, sophomore of high school and 7th and 8th grade was a 1973 Schwinn Varsity 10-speed. And... Uh, you know, when I got the car, I kind of let the 10 speed just sit in the garage. And at some point, my dad must have got rid of it. And I didn't really notice it. Now that I'm older and I'm feeling nostalgic, I found a gentleman in Chicago, the original owner of a 1973 cool lemon yellow Schwinn Varsity 10 speed. He had got it in 1973. He said he rode it around for Halloween that year put it in his uh, folks' basement, and it's been there ever since, and it is in pristine condition, and it arrives tomorrow. So I'm looking forward. Of course, the tires, original tires, I'm taking them off because, uh, you know, 40, 50 years. Uh, they still hold air. Tubes still hold air. So I'm looking forward. So I don't know what you guys had as, you know, when I was growing up, Schwinn's were the uh, thing. You had uh, the Schwinn Cruiser, or you had the uh, the Schwinn 10 speed, the touring bikes, and uh, man, had a lot of history with that bike. So I'm looking forward to getting back into that and just cleaning it up and restoring it a bit. It's almost mint, just needs some TLC. You come for the shave and you get a little bit of a talk too. All right. There will be soap in my ear soap behind my ear. Ironically, no cuts. You never know when you're using a feather. Oh, what is that? Peel some skin off, see? Yeah, dry skin, peel some skin off. <laughs> I'm going to feel it there when I apply this because this has alcohol in it. Razor rock. All right. Yeah, boy, that dry skin. Oh, well, this will hit it. Oh, yes, 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 there's a burn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. Very mellow cigar leaf scent. Good burn, man. Nice shave. And you're the witnesses. You know, you, you see what I look like going in. You got the Santa Claus beard coming out. And then, uh, no problems. So that combo worked good today. So, I can't say anything bad about the soap, except I'm going to rinse. Oh, since I'm doing that, people ask, what do you do after you're done with your soap? So what I do is I rinse out. I'll show you in a second. Just rinse off the excess. I'll let it dry for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so, and then I'll put the lid back on. 
and of course the razor. Yeah, I just hang dry because I'm going to probably be using this again very soon. So uh, with the soaps, that's what I do. Everybody has their own style on what to do, but I shake the water out of it. I'll like fast forward, like, and then I'll put the that on it. And I would put the lid on it. I'm going to let it dry, of course, after I'm done with the video. But uh, that's basically what I do. But I've had a lot of people asking that, and that's a good question. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Happy midweek. Hope you uh, are, have, have had a good Memorial Day weekend, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye for now. Stay safe.